Hello folks and welcome back to SnowRunner, my own self-imposed hardcore mode. And we are over here on Imandra and I am going to take care of this mission that uh, we were going to do a little while ago and I kind of got sidetracked and started doing some other things. So this is the new pool mission. <clears throat> And we have to get the portable cabin, which is right here. And I'm going to have to take it over here to the fishing spot, which is right there. And I'm going to have to take it around. Well, that doesn't look inviting at all. And somewhere there were some of those concrete blocks somewhere, uh, concrete slabs. Was it on this side or was it on this side that I passed? I have a vehicle over here I've got to get. So let's, how about let's do that one first. Let's come over and get this vehicle and see if the, oh, never mind. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, I got myself turned around. Uh, let's come over. I've got a mission. I've got some trucks set up to come over and get this vehicle. So let's see if we if those concrete slabs were over here that I passed them or if they were over here probably over here since how it looks like there's a road there but we'll go take a look and if there are concrete slabs over here I'm going to attempt to pick one up and take it over here and see if it'll bridge this gap been wanting to try that but I haven't got around to it and let's go ahead and try it so let me see what did I have set up ah I got the big boy so what I was planning on doing was going down there and I was gonna be on the other side of that crack and I was gonna take this truck and uh, use the crane to pick that uh, scout truck up and pull it across that gap. So let's see if I can actually pick up if the concrete slabs are even over here. Might be some totally different area of the map. I'm old. My memory fails me sometimes. And I blame the game. The game is so nice to look at that uh, sometimes I forget where things are. I'm looking around so much. Sounds good. Alright, I am uh, getting videos out as fast as I possibly can. I spent a good bit today besides cutting grass and working on my daughter's car and working on my truck and cutting grass some more and feeding the animals and walking the dog and going to the store and all kinds of things on my day off today. I've also been doing videos. And I have posted a couple of videos today. And I have two more that are completed. And I have scheduled those for in the morning to be posted. And I have one right now that is finishing the editing. It's saving. So that takes about an hour and a half. Don't know why it takes so long, but... Hey, it does. And I'm going to put that one out for tomorrow also and release them 
I used to release 15 minutes apart. Make sure I know where I'm at. Yeah, I gotta get across. Uh, I used to release them at 7, 7.15, 7.30, 7.45, but now I don't get that option anymore. It's like 7.15, 7.45, 8.15, 8.45, 8.45, 8.45. I don't know what's up with that. I knew I couldn't do that. Gotta go off to the side. But anyway, I'm gonna have some videos uh, come out tomorrow. I've got a couple out today. And then I'm going to try to catch up on the rest of the videos and get them out. And uh, probably day after tomorrow. You can do it. There you go, Bob. Bob is an awesome driver. If you haven't watched the videos, that's Bob. No relation to the famous one that builds things and talks to trucks. Uh, but I am working steadily on it because I also have some videos of the speed run that I'm doing that I have not processed yet. And I'm going to try to get those out tomorrow. And maybe even shoot some more video of the speed run. And let you know where I'm at in it. Okay, so I kept... I was wondering why it kept showing a truck there, and I went by here several times, and I've never seen it. And there it is. But can I get out here on the ice? It appears so. Let's activate our anchors. And then activate our crane. Get rid of that. And I should not have an issue picking this thing up. Not with an American crane. Come back out of there. Okay. I'm going to get up out of there before I move my camera around. Wish I could uh, put the American crane on some of the Russian trucks. But alas, I cannot. Put you over here. Out of my way. So I can turn around. And restore my crane. And we have one truck. Whoa, 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 back up, back up, back up. The heck you doing, Bob? Oh, 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 yeah. Um, so I guess these slabs were not over here. And that's a pretty big gap. So it doesn't look that big here, but it is a pretty big gap. Well, actually, this looks maybe right there would be smaller. So let's come over here and see if, <clears throat> excuse me, the concrete slabs were over here. Somewhere I saw concrete slabs. I know there's some down at the big bridge. Oh no, I can't go out here. But they were like right on the edge of the water.
and I don't see any over there. So I can see all the way over to here and I don't see them. I know there were some over here. But somewhere I crossed over an area and it might have been here. I crossed over an area. Yeah, because that looks like an S shape. might be there and I don't think I'm going to try taking the truck through there what I might do is go up there and come down but I'll need another truck to haul the slab because I did look to see if I come over on this uh, side over here and that looks a little tight right there to get this big truck. I don't know. And if I remember correctly, there was an S because I took the uh, Lodestar. And it was a real tight S shape that you had to go, uh, you had to follow. And if I'm not mistaken, it was the same way over here. So it may not be an option. And let's go ahead and uh, get this delivery made. Always around. Forgot about that. Uh -huh, I'm sorry, Rocks, but you're not going to stop me. I will get out of here. I got a big crane. I will dig that crane in the ground. Push myself right off this. Yep, crane doesn't go down far enough. So much for that idea. Thought I could do it like the uh, small cranes and push off the rocks, but. And we'll restore it. Oh, there we go. The crane scared it. it scared the rocks, and the rocks let me go. And what was this mission anyway? Troublesome motor maybe? Yeah. And where do I have to deliver it? Deliver it to the parking lot way up, up, right up uh, way up there. Well I am not taking this truck up there. But what I can do is take it around. Drop it off over here. And I have two very capable trucks over here that can do that. Shoot, now I wish I'd have just tried to cross it. Or come and got it from the other side. Oh well. I may end up doing that. I may end up taking this crane and picking it up and putting it back over there. If a truck can make it out on that ice. 
Nah. We'll pull it. Ah, oh, no, now I remember what I was going to do. I am not going to pull it with this vehicle. I have the step over here that I was supposed to bring with me that was going to pull it. Ooh, hang on. Okay, that's got to go up to the parking, so I can take it up here. I know where that's at. New pool, and where was I taking that? To the fishing cabin? Or fishing spot? That no, doesn't matter. I think any, any of the trucks can come down through here. So many choices in the game. What are you going to do? So I think what I'll do is pull this up to the main road. Uh -oh. Forgot to get close. And let the step take it on out. That way we can see what the step does on this map. I have not driven the step yet. Over here. Ice doesn't know who it's fooling with. This is the P-12. Very little stops the P-12. So I did hear rumors that maybe in the next update or the one after that we might get an all-wheel drive for the P-16, the pig. That is going to be interesting. I think I will like that. But only if we get chain tires with it. If we're going to be on a snowy map, then it needs chain tires. But in the mud, oh man, it has more, it seems to have more power than this truck. But the problem is, it doesn't have the all-wheel drive. And it's not as versatile as this one. You know, with that one, you're basically running a, a high hitch can't put a crane or anything like that on it but a truck just as capable as this one that is short wheelbase and all wheel drive that could be fun. Really not all that impressed with the... with two of the last three trucks. The uh, Acteon and the Warthog. But we are going to give them a shot but we have run the Acteon, and uh, I need to give it some more time. Run it some more to see if I really like it or I really dislike it. Uh, the Warthog is going to do the next delivery. Uh, 
uh, I've got a couple of things lined up for it to do. I don't know if I'm going to get to it in this episode. But we will see. And let's go ahead and top off our fuel tank. Still some from the P-12 since the P-12 is so close to the garage. Alright, Step, let's see what you can do. For me, I compare this truck to the Western Star. Because they're both, both very similar. Both handle about the same. About the same size, same height. So I should not have an issue with this delivery. Because I'm going through all my dots. They are a good combination, and I would like to have this truck uh, for my speed run. Run it with the Western Star. Uh, but it's not an easy truck to get. Uh, over on the Russian maps. So it takes a little bit of work to get it. And right now I am not ready to do that much work. Just to get a truck when I do have capable trucks right now that I'm using. And I'm still on Michigan maps. But I'm getting ready to in that speed run to go back over and get the... Uh, to get the Western Star, get the upgrades for it, and to go get the all-wheel drive unit for the... Oh, wait a minute. Uh, for the GMC. So I have... Well, i got to deliver it up there. So I was thinking about taking this road down here. Uh, but I do have to go up there. So I might as well take... You back up. Where's my dot? There you are. Uh, but as I was saying, I'm going to go get the uh, all-wheel drive unit for the GMC. Uh, the Tega won't do me any good. The Tega is easy to get. But the upgrades are not. The upgrades, I will have to do missions to get to the quarry. To uh, get the upgrades for it. So I'm not going to get that one. And this one's the same way. Some of the upgrades. I will have to do several missions in the quarry to or to get to the quarry. And I'm just going to wait and do that when I actually get to the quarry in the speed run. Come on, you're not going to let a little mud stop you. So I've had a lot of issues on this map, and I think when I do this map again for my regular, and I don't know if I'm going to actually put that on YouTube uh, for the regular mode, because I'm having a, I, it's a lot harder to do it on the hardcore mode, and I may just do that for myself instead of doing videos but I think when I do that again I'm going to use uh, these big trucks for the scouting missions instead of the scouts
I think that'll be a lot easier. And when I get over here in the speed run, if I'm still doing the speed run, um, I'll do the same thing. Use the big trucks to do all the scouting and opening up the maps. Maybe use the uh, Lodestar and a big truck. Tank. I forgot about you. Let's go ahead and refuel when we can. Oh, there's a tractor in the snow. We just drive over the tractor. And I'm pretty sure I got this mission. Yep. Oh, that's a new pull mission. So where am I going? Right here. I will attempt to take it up here first. Or did I come over here to get up there once? I think I might have come up this way. But let's take a look at it. We'll drop that off. And then I can always come back and get it. Let's try. I gotta see if it'll go. Which may cause me some problems as far as winching. I don't, actually, I don't think it'll even climb up that. But let's give it a shot. Oh, it will. But I will have to go slightly to the right. And I don't see anything to winch off of. Let's take a look see if it gives me a winch point. No. Okay, bad idea. Let's go back and go around. I think the truck is just a little bit too long to get up there. Well, you're going to hook up. Why well, you're being so difficult? There we go.
Well. Get back up through the trees. My spare tire's getting caught there. Give me a strong one. Think right there. Oh yeah, that's strong. And I know I'd probably go around the other way. Probably be easier. But this is hardcore mode. I think once I get past these rocks, I'll be okay. Providing I can reach the truck. And I can. It's got the heavier winch on it, so... It'll pull this little truck with no problem. I can pull it upside down if I want. Now, we'll probably come down the other way. Where's my delivery point? Yeah, we've been up here because that was where the, all the beehives were. son has beehives at his house. He's got one. Oh, wrong one. But can't wait to try some of that, honey. Because he knows what he's doing when it comes to bees. So he knows how to make sure that he has honey all year long. And the bees can survive the winter. So evidently that is key. A lot of people, they rob the hives too many times or at the wrong time of year. And the bees don't have enough food to last in the winter. Make sure. Yep, to my right. But he says he's going to do it the right way. So that evidently people go and they rob the beehives in the fall, right before winter. And then they feed the bees sugar through the winter to keep them alive. Or they just go and buy new bees the next year. 
and that just doesn't seem right to me or to him whoa no tipping I forgot I can winch now let's winch up there Nope, oh, I've already used you. This is deep. Very deep. Let me go up there. Yep. I'm getting better at this auto winch thing. Getting better at moving the camera and winching on to the trees that I want to winch on instead of random trees. Yeah, I've been through here. I remember all this. Oop. Oh. Turn you off. And we're back here again. In the mud. Even go in here. I think I went around it, but I don't think I went in it. See if there's anything of interest. Yep, knocked the fence down. Because we don't have a lot of missions left. We've got a couple of big missions and I haven't done the uh, the World War II bomber yet. I haven't found it. See if there's anything hidden down one of these roads. And it does not appear like there is. Okay, get you out on solid ground. Bring it down to, yeah, bring it down to, no, I'm going to leave it right here. Because we have other missions to take care of. And one of them is with the Warthog. So what I'm doing here is the military site of... Places of military glory. There were two of them that I have to get to. That one. Got that one. And that one. So I brought the Warthog over here to come up this road and come in here. And then we'll try to go down this road and come back over here and then go around. And I also brought, because some of this is deep snow, 
Nope. Hang on. Got to track it. Uh, because some of this looks to be... Uh, I put the ice, uh, the chain tires on here to see how it does. Because I think some of it's going to be icy. But then I brought along this one because it has the wide tires, wide mud tires on it. So it can help this one through any muddy areas. Hopefully that makes sense. It appears that on this map, uh, if you go one or the other, you don't do very well. But I'm going to try to take both vehicles and see how that works. And if it looks like the Warthog can get through this stuff, then I'll just leave the other one. Now, from my testing of the Warthog, with the big wide mud tires on it, it actually handles deep snow pretty good and mud pretty good. But it's like any other scout. If you have mud tires on it, it will not climb up icy places. But it appears to be doing the snow pretty good with the chain tires on it. Plus, I was also worried about tipping it over. So if I tip it over, I've got another vehicle that can flip it back. Oh, humping. That's why I brought the other truck. Hopefully I don't tip it over. But I forgot to check. I do think I have the autonomous winch on this one. Push around. Let's 
So, where do I go? F well, go down the road. And let's go ahead and get the other one. And let's see where I'm at. Con Marshall might be able to get through here. Or along that area. I can't see very well. That didn't work out. Come on, climb the rock. Because I know the con marshal cannot get up that. Not with my tires on it. Oh, maybe it can. Huh. Okay. I thought since it was ice, it would just sit there and spin, but... Looks like it would have made it up. And in here. That takes care of another one. I have one more to go way over there. And it looks like my road. I need to get over to there. And then go down that way. Uh, don't, don't, don't you do it. Come on, dig in there. Dig in there. Nope. So I am glad I brought the con marshal. That has saved me twice now. Move over. Marshall's about out of gas. What the heck? There we go.
So I don't know if y'all have been following some of the news articles. But it appears that the places that are doing virtual learning there have been several instances where kids doing virtual learning from their homes teachers have seen toy guns and have actually called the police uh, because the kid had a toy gun and the teacher could see it on the cameras I think that is about stupid. And there we go again. Okay. Since you were started. back over there we go now I gotta turn it around up 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 nope, nope. And I think I'm gonna find me a path down through the woods and turned around. Turn the lights, I might be able to see. Yeah, teachers would have had a uh, field day they were doing this when I was growing up. I didn't have toy guns. I had real guns. But my dad was smart enough to teach us how to handle weapons. And how to respect them. But I grew up in the backwoods of West Virginia, and I hunted a lot. Not going to be able to get through there. Can't get through here, though. I think people nowadays are just way too sensitive. Helicopter again. I think I'll go to the left. And actually, other than uh, tipping over, this truck does pretty good in the snow. Yep, I saw the dot over there. actually have no idea where I'm at. Well, maybe a slight idea. I think that's the road. It is. Alright, so we have the con marshal to get back. Where are you at? Yeah, 
And I gotta fill you with gas. Nope, not repairs. Refuel. So I have one more tank left in this. But I do want to get it out of here. It's got to come out of here anyway, but get it out of here just in case the Warthog flips over again. And now we have tire tracks to follow. But is it skinny enough to get through here? This is much easier when you have tire tracks. Look at that. No problem. Never have much use for the con marshal, but in my speed run since I started using it, uh, I have come to appreciate it more. You just have to use it the right way. It is not a vehicle that you can take off and uh, go on hard roads and do things, but it does run very well in the mud and snow. So pulling it someplace that you need it is a good option. And what I'm going to try to do is get out here on the hard road out here. And then I'm just going to drop the con marshal off and see if I can do the rest of this mission with just the Warthog. And I believe that is my road up there. And I think one of the other issues I had with the Warthog in the beginning is that uh, I tried running it with the oh man I meant to go out the other way I wanted to go down this road I haven't been down this road yet that's alright so hmm. yeah let's take the con marshal with us because if I need the con marshal Um, it's going to have a heck of a time getting through here because it does not have chain tires on it. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, one of the uh, the configuration that I was using on the Warthog I think had something to do with it not running very well. And that's because I was trying to take the fuel tanker and I got to looking when I was uh, before I started the episode of the different configurations and that fuel tanker puts a lot of weight on the back end. It really squats. And I know to go up and around you or I will take a lot of damage. All right, so I'm gonna get around the, around the edge up here and I'm going to head for the bridge. But I am going to end this episode. 
Oh yeah, I want to go down there. I want to go this way. But I'm going to end this episode and we will finish this mission in the next episode. And one other note. Uh, I was looking at my subscriber and... Oh, I never even saw that. Over there. The uh, boat. Looking at my subscribers and my followers on uh, Twitch and YouTube. And it's amazing. I never thought I would get more than two or three people ever follow me or subscribe to my channels. And I really appreciate it. Uh, it makes me feel like I'm doing something right. Alright, so I'm going to stop it here. Stop. Change my trucks. And make sure you are shut down. Yep. And I will see you in the next episode. So leave me some comments. Let me know how I'm doing. Uh, let me know if there's anything I can improve on. I would really appreciate the feedback. And I will see you in the next episode. And again, thank you for subscribing. And thank you for following on Twitch. And I will see you in the next one. And until then, have a good one.